Bonjour, guten Tag. What's up, bruv? When you believe, everything is possible. I'm going to say it now. It is written in the stars. <laughs> Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. My calf, wow, never been so tight like now. My calf just feels so tight, so that's why I can't go to the pitch because normally my plan today was to go on the pitch to train again because training makes it perfect. As Born Ready athlete Matthias would always say so that's why i'm thinking what should i do today like because obviously i'm training every day the last few days and weeks have been intense because i had trial matches i had training i train nearly every day and some of you might think that i train too much some of you might think i train not enough but one thing i don't want is to be overtrained because in a few coming days, I'm going to have my training session with the club that I trialed with and played a match where I played centre back. So I need to be ready for that. I want to be fit and I want to be well rested. So that's why, as I learned a lot from my time in Kidderminster, as I said before, and I know that every single time when you're injured, because when I injured my calf, when my calf was just strained, and I strained my calf on a Friday or on a Saturday and then I told my physio I think I'm gonna be out for like two weeks three weeks but then he said no 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 you come in tomorrow so I came in the next day and we did some exercises for my calves and we strengthened it and if I would not be at this club what I would do normally I would just rest and I would just maybe ice and that's it like rest it but the next day we trained and this taught me that when you have muscle injuries, when you, when you feel like it's very tight, that just means that your muscle is weak. So you need to strengthen it. So if you have like any, like any pain, calf, thigh, hamstrings, that means you need to work on that. So that's why, because my calf a little bit hurts and it tight, so I need to strengthen it. I need to loosen it up. And maybe in the evening, I'm gonna do a hot bath or ice bath. This is a myth, like I will never understand. Hot bath or ice bath? When to use hot bath, when to use ice baths. I think straight after exercises, ice baths are the best, but then later on, hot baths are good. I think so, like, I don't know. I need to do more research on that. So I'm gonna go to the gym and then do an injury prevention workout. So yeah, I think that's the right thing to do right now. But well, before we go to the gym, I'm having quick my porridge because the time is now one o'clock and the whole morning, I just did some editing, replying to comments. So that's why I'm gonna have my breakfast first at one o'clock, yes, breakfast or lunch. But I call it breakfast because it's the first meal of the day. But then we're gonna go to the gym. The three most common injuries a football player gets is ankle sprain, groin strain or hamstring strain. So today we focus on exactly those three areas. So when you are in the gym, just grab a bozu ball or even on a flat surface at home. Try to stabilize your ankle and draw a triangle. And three reps of three sets. Single leg calf races are a great way to prevent calf strains. And because my calf felt very tight, so I did 15 reps of three sets.
Nordic hamstring curls, one of the best or the best hamstring exercises you can do. And I remember at Kidderminster, we've done that twice a week and I was able to nearly lay flat on the floor without using my arms. So I need to improve on that. Single leg hamstring curl with a called yoga ball or gym ball. Three sets of five reps, also a great way to prevent hamstring injuries. And then one of my favorite exercises, groin holds. 10 reps of three sets and you can either just hold it or bounce up and down but since i do that i never had any groin injuries anymore so this is a great exercise for your groins you see sometimes it's more than just about football Wow, sometimes there are things happening in your life where you just think, why? Why, God? Why did you do that? Today I received the news that my former under-17s manager, when I played in Troisdorf, the person who gave me the opportunity to play under-17s youth Bundesliga, the highest level in this age group that you can reach. We played against Borussia Dortmund, Schalke, played against Mario Götze, Julian Draxler, like all those top players. And he was always like a mentor, like a father. And he actually passed away. And receiving those news is just horrible. Like. I was not even sure if I should say that or not. But the only reason why I say that is because he deserves that. He deserves this honor and everyone should know what an amazing person he was. Fokos. Wow. And the crazy thing is, when I was in Germany two weeks ago, like we had lunch together, we we're sitting and laughing like this is unbelievable. But he always taught me that with discipline and hard work, everything is possible. And he took me to Israel and I spent there a couple of months and This is so hard, like, especially his family, like, but I just promised myself because he told me two weeks ago as we were planning for my future and for the next plans and next steps that I should take that he told me that, Brendan, you can achieve anything, anything you want. And I'm gonna do that, like, this is so hard. But where he is now, he is in a better place. And so that's why, guys, if you guys have loved ones, if you have family members, you haven't seen them for a long time and or like you argued with someone and you're not talking to him like guys in those moments you realize that life can be very short and you should appreciate and be grateful for having good friends having good people around you and it's nonsense to argue because life can be very very short so if you guys haven't seen someone for a long time just give him a call give him a ring tell him that you love him like it takes us a minute to do that but wow wow so i'm gonna end this here and always remember that that life can be very very short so be thankful and grateful for any opportunity 
that is coming because you only live once and you should try everything possible to achieve your dreams because you never know. You never know what's happening. Every single day you should be grateful and blessed to live the day, to be alive and to be able to walk, to eat, to breathe because you never know. It's just like this, everything can end. Wow.